Hey, good afternoon, everybody. How y'all doing? This your boy, Rob Thomas Jr., and this is the real news behind the news. Oh, yeah, today is Tuesday, January 22nd, uh, 2019, and we got a hot topic, y'all. This is so, this topic we're going to talk about is filed on so many levels, but let's just get right off into it. Um, recently, there's been an internet video that go viral where at an Atlanta nightclub, a young lady is alleged to have gotten raped while she was on the dance floor. And all these people was watching. Now, the key to it that it be, it's not being shown in the media in one question. Nobody is asking. First of all, we're going to let this be known. There's no way in the world we condone any type of violence, especially violence against the elderly, the young, and even women. Me and as, as, as a rule, I was always raised, you never put your hands on a woman. But you never take a woman by force. That's the worst of the worst things that you could do, man. When you got prostitutes out there that's on drugs, that really you can go get $20 and you can have all the love me long time you want. But why would you take something from a woman? But what's so disturbing to me about this video is that the young lady was on the video, and it's graphic, y'all. I'm going to be real. I could put, I'm, I, I eventually share the link if we get enough comments on. I'll share the link, but um, pretty much most of y'all seen it. If not, again, go to the Real News Behind the News on Facebook, and we'll share the link there. But my question is, you're already high and in a nightclub. You're getting raped, but you got enough sense to keep that camera going on Facebook Live. You're streaming your rape live on Facebook and asking people to help me, help me. It was pathetic, man, what went down. Because the dude was dead wrong. He needs to face criminal charges and prosecution, but... At what point did you realize that you were getting raped? You was high enough to keep your hand on the button and keep it recording live on Facebook. You was high, I mean, you was uh, screaming for help. At what point should you turn that video off and call 911? Because you see, ain't nobody around you helping you. You're in a nightclub. Everybody in there probably high and drunk. So they all looking at it, getting some practice for what they trying to go home and do. It's a bad, sad situation, and I don't, I'm don't. i not trying to make light of the situation. But come on, man, that's crazy. You're recording your rape live on Facebook instead of calling 911 to actually get you some help. Whereas the police could have actually came and caught the dude before he left. Now, after this, you all on Facebook seeking attention, making all these videos, telling people it was wrong. Yeah, that was dead wrong what happened, but at what, what point did you play in it? Because first of all, ma'am, don't you got kids? Shouldn't you have been at home with your kids? Wait a minute, weren't you married at one point? What happened with your marriage? Now, I'm not judging the victim because it's obvious from that video she was in a bad situation where drugs had her mentally incapacitated and she found herself in a bad situation. <laughs> Molly's is a hell of a drug. Say no to drugs, especially Molly's. You can smoke all the weed you want, but say no to the Molly's and all that other stuff. Because it got people right now all on video getting raped in nightclubs and screaming, help me, help me on Facebook. Instead of calling 911 to ask for some real help. Because the police would have probably did a little bit more than them people who stood around and watched you get raped. And then the thing about it is how could you sit around and watch something like this happen and not be disgusted, appalled, or even try to intervene? Now, I'm not saying you just can't go up and get involved in every situation. But come on, man. You're seeing a woman who's screaming help me on the dance floor while she's getting raped and sodomized. And y'all looking at it like, like it's entertainment. Black people, let me give y'all a little game. We're the only people on this planet that do not have a culture. We don't have a culture. They took that away from us 
in slavery. This is why they didn't let you read, write, understand your religion, or even speak your natural, na uh, natural tongue. Because they had to break up your cultural identity. The one thing that bonded people together, this is why they broke up families. Because they didn't want you to continue the traditions of old that, that our ancestors um, practiced. So now what we have is a generation uh, uh, who don't have a sense of culture, who are worshiping a culture that has been given to them by the establishment, quote unquote, white supremacy, whatever you want to call it. But we know that you have been given a culture through your media, through your music, through your movies, through your video games. You got a bunch of young people out here running around living life like it's a, a game of Grand Theft Auto. And here you are, no culture, because if you had a culture, ma'am, you would be at home. If we had a sense of culture, these nightclubs wouldn't be making so much money, putting this disgusting music out, because in the culture that they give you, in your music, you, you can't be a successful rapper unless you done screwed eight girls, shot seven niggas, and sold 12 pounds of dope all before 9 a.m. And this is the kind of music that you listen to. So you wonder why when you get high, and, and not to mention in, in the music, they say bitch more than I do before breakfast. In, in the first 12 lyrics, first 12 words of their song, you hear the word bitch probably about 35, 40 times. You know what I'm saying? And you're listening to this music, you're uh, responding to it by getting high, going out to the party, you know what I'm saying, turning it up, doing whatever they tell you in the music. And then you wonder why these type of things happen. Now, again, that dude needs to be prosecuted. And we're not condoning because you a foul piece of trash, homie. And I hope they catch you. But I'm the kind of person I always ask the question, what part did she play in it? She played a part, first of all, because she was out there at the club getting high. When you're high. Well, they, they used to have a public service announcement saying, get high, get stupid, get AIDS. Well, if you get high, you get drunk. You can't get raped. And that's sad that this dude took advantage of this woman on the dance floor and all these people watched. And all she could do was say, help me, while she recorded it live on Facebook instead of calling 911. It's crazy, y'all. That is crazy, that whole situation. But hey, um, I'm going to put the link up to that, to that story on the Real News Behind the News Facebook page. And y'all can go there and check it out, see the video, but I will warn you, it is very graphic because it went down that night on the dance floor, literally. They made love in that club, hey, in that club. Somebody got, somebody made love the other one. She didn't, it was not what she bargained for that night when she left her kid with her mama or grandmama or whatever. And went out to the club, took a molly or whatever, got a couple of drinks, and then wind up on Facebook Live talking about it. Help me, help me. When you should have been calling 911, ma'am. You should have stopped that video and called 911. And where were your friends at? You need to really kick all your friends in the kneecap because none of them women came to help you at all. I know you didn't go there by yourself. Somebody who was with you really needs to be slapped upside the head because they sat there and watched. They maybe thought you. Maybe they thought that you wanted that. Maybe they thought you liked that. I'm not uh, trying to belittle the victim here, but there's a lot of questions we have to ask, man. How could you be so conscious that you can be on Facebook recording live while you getting raped? It seemed like anybody in their right mind would have called the police instead of trying to ask somebody on Facebook. Guess what the niggas had on Facebook that you asking to help? At home. They at home. But you live streaming this on Facebook. and would, Man, this is crazy. I hope you get the counseling that you need. I hope you get the justice that you deserve. And I hope that cat, whoever it is, whatever his name is, and again, we still doing our research, but we just seen two or three videos from two or three angles. And it was a bad, bad situation. But at what point, ladies, do you put yourself in these bad situations? And men, at what point do you step up and be a man, bruh? Come on, man. I mean, anything else, man, I don't know. 
You could have took her to the bathroom or something. And show your game, man. If you got to get a woman high just to have sex with her, you need to be in that same cell Bill Cosby in. Straight up. But anyway, let me end this video. Um, Y'all subscribe to our channel, man. Um, so, uh, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you don't like it, well, of course, you're going to hit thumbs down. But we're not trying to offend nobody and put nothing out there. But, man, we just asking a question. What's wrong with this, this society now to the point where you got somebody getting raped live on Facebook? And instead of calling 911, they're calling on people who at home or who in three states over to help you. What you wanted them to do, call 911 for you? Man, this is crazy. Hey, this is your boy Rob Thomas Jr., man. Subscribe to our channel. Do y'all hear me on another one of these videos or hear me on the radio? Y'all be blessed.